California senators have introduced a bill that would make a mandatory kill switch on cell phones and tablet devices in 2015, mostly to combat theft, but there are obviously other repercussions. This is a freaking disaster. <laughs> this, this is very similar to uh, the Comcast Time Warner story we were talking about and how we brought net neutrality into that. Look, they're saying it's because if someone steals your phone, they should, the law enforcement should have access to shut your phone off, basically, or your tablet. Okay, that sounds really nice, but as we know, everything has a slippery slope, and the government should not be able to, because ultimately it gets to the government, or somebody starts with the local police, and then it moves its, its way up. Next thing you know, CIA, whatever it is, they should not be able to shut off your devices, because that's really the end game here, is that if we start having more Occupy movements, if we start having mm. protests, things of that nature, we already have a very controversial kill switch on the internet. The president has access to that and could shut off the internet just like that. I always wonder, is it like a, it seems like it would be more of a lever to me I than a, is like it a, a button? You think it's just a button? Kind of I feel like it would be a lever, like whatever a really it, big red lever. It, whatever you know? it is, it would sound like boom. Yes, there would definitely be the slow, because yeah. It, yeah, it wouldn't just, yeah. Uh, but uh, yeah, this is, this is really just terrible and they're not doing this truly, the end game here is not simply that your phone gets stolen. Look, if that was the end game, they would have simple ways of, if your well, phone gets stolen. Now. Right, there's apps now, and, you, and just something simple, like if your phone gets stolen, you can call AT&T and they can just disconnect your connectivity or something. Uh, so this is, this is terrible, I think. When I first read this, I thought it was reactionary. Like people were complaining, oh, the 75% of you know, thefts in the Oakland, San Francisco area are for tablets and mobile devices and whatnot. Right. We need to do something about that. Uh, 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 kill, kill we switches. better have access Let's do to shut off the entire grid because someone lost their phone. But now that I read that it, there will be fines for uh, you know retail the, places that sell things that don't have these things implemented, it was like, okay, somebody higher up wants this required now. This is no longer for our protection. This serves this more sinister purpose. Yeah, it sounds you know, they're like. already right now. You know, with everything going on in. Um, in the Ukraine, they've already been shutting off cell phone service that time. So we already, th well, that stuff already exists and is being used. Wasn't there some issue in San Francisco when they had, uh, that they were shutting off cell service in the subways to stop protests with something a couple months ago? So all of this stuff is already bubbling up and it's like, we have to start Let's getting control of it before it becomes official, yeah. So the proposed fines are between $500 and $2,500 per device for e the retailers that sell them without this kill switch. The kill switch is a little much, as you said, it could shut down dissidents um, in a more efficient and more official way. But it's also, is this gonna kill the market for uh, reselling phones? Yeah, I have another sinister guess as to why this is being pushed forward so quickly. I mean, the, the bill is being introduced today to be enacted like within a year. Mm -hmm. um, I also suspect that the people that manufacture these phones, the companies that make them, don't want such high resale value on them. Like companies that were putting um, the, the codes to play online with games so that you couldn't buy them used mm -hmm. and not have to buy a new one. Right. Now, all this of a sudden, like it's, not, it's not safe to buy an old phone anymore because you're not in control of someone out there could just shut it off after you buy it. Yeah. So now you pretty much have to buy a new one. And also, just think about the, the economic consequences of this. So right, so the retailers are going to be fine, so then they're not going to carry certain phones. But what ultimately that will lead to is that if you want to not have a kill switch on your phone, if you've got a lot of money, you'll be able to afford a phone that won't have the kill switch. So then we're going to have this elite group of people with super phones that can never be shut off, and they'll have access to the internet and to each other no matter what, and you'll have this other group of people that don't have a lot of money, and their uh, access to the internet and everything else will be at the whim of whoever's in charge of this big uh, lever, as I'm calling it. Wow. That sounds How terrible. About that? that is terrible. That so maybe like, there will be a black market of uh, phones that aren't connected to the switch. Yeah, the switch, that's the name of the movie. <laughs> the switch. We're writing this. Or the lever. Part two, the lever. So what do you think of the switch and being able to control whether your phone works or not, having that power to in the government's hands or, or law enforcement or someone who isn't you and isn't, it isn't in your control anymore. Will there be a black market? Will there be a societal gap of haves and have-nots yes. for phone freedom? Let us know what you think below and please be sure to subscribe. <laughs>